Hey, this is James Outlaw Frags. We're getting ready to talk about another fragrance. This is a review that was requested by one of my viewers. So here we go. Stick with me and we're going to get right into this. So the fragrance we're going to talk about today is none other than Boss Bottle by Hugo Boss. This was released back in 1998, which for me was a really good year, have you know? But this was, I believe, the start of the Boss Bottle series, Boss Bottles. Um, I will say that I really enjoy this. This has got a lot of the notes in it that I prefer in my fragrances when it comes to something other than tobacco. This one is a really kind of sweet. It's been referred to as an apple pie kind of fragrance and I kind of have to go along with uh, what has been said about it before. I will say that the projection, longevity, and sillage um, are a little lacking on this guy, but it smells really good. And if you use it in the right environment and at the right occasion, this works wonderful. And the notes for this guy, Boss Bottle, number six, according to Fragranica, are a uh, captivating aroma fragrance, fresh and fruity with a sharp, warm, spicy, woody base. I kind of like that one. The fresh, fruity top notes are apple with citrus, perfectly blended with a floral and spicy heart dominated by a pentagram, warm cinnamon, cloves, and the base notes are very masculine, and they are sandalwood, vetiver, and precious cedar, wherever precious cedar comes from. Um, the actual perfume pyramid is a whole lot more entailed than that, and I will include that probably right there, so you can take a look at it yourself. This has been around for a long time. Um, when I came across this bottle during my fragrance journey, it was not too long ago. I hadn't had a whole lot of experience with the bottle series. I do have a couple of other Hugo Boss fragrances that I have enjoyed from way back. And I still like them as much today as I did when I was first exposed to them decades ago. This is one I just, I missed. I will say I like this a whole lot. The The very top that I get out of this is um, I get hit in the face with some uh, vanilla and then apple and cinnamon. And to me, that's where most people come with the analogy of this smells like apple pie. And it does. I just wish it had more oomph. You know, I really like the scent. It's just lacking in performance for me. Um, is this one that I would say I would carry a 10 mil decant with because I like it? Nope. I really enjoy it. This is something that I would put on for around the house. Or if I know that I'm going to be at home with somebody that I like, this is something I would put on because it's not in your face. This is a great date scent for if you wanna have somebody close to you and it's not gonna knock them out for monster projection or anything like that, this is wonderful. It really, if it smells good. And if you're up close, it smells wonderful. Does it last forever? No, it does not. And I am not gonna lie about that. The longevity on this bad boy is pathetic in my opinion, but it does smell good. The projection in this, to me, and this is my opinion, is weak at best. Uh, the longevity, like I said, it, it doesn't last very long. But if you use this in a manner for which it is created for, it works wonderful. Like I said, it is a great date night scent. If you're at home, this is an incredible intimate encounter scent because it is not kicking your significant other in the face. This is something that you can really enjoy in really close proximity. Wow, I stumbled over that word. You try to say that, proximity. Anyways, those are my immediate reactions that I get from this. I want to get my hands on the intense version because there's a lot of things in this that I really like that I wish were you know pumped up on steroids and to where I could use this in more situations. The versatility on this is because because of the scent characteristics that this fragrance has. It has a lot of good things going for it, but man, there's a bunch of stuff that really kind of kicks it in, you know, in the gluteus maximus all the way to the back of the shelf. So with that being said, 
Is this a buy, try, or pass? This is a try. This isn't a pass because this smells really good. I mean, people say it smells like apple pie. Ping, bingo, they're absolutely right. To me, this definitely gives me the vibe of apple pie. And that is due to the vanilla, apple, and cinnamon notes that are in it, which smell wonderful. I mean, it's, it smells really good. The performance issues is what kills this little guy. And from what I understand, the intense version really addressed a lot of those issues. Am I happy I have this in my collection? Absolutely. Because I have a hard time finding things wrong with most fragrances. I enjoy them all. There's only been two that I have had experiences with that I just had to get rid of them immediately. One was Nautica Voyage Sport. To me, that smelt like dirty armpits. And I got rid of that immediately. I will say on Fragranica, this is rated as being moderate in longevity and moderate in silage. For me, it, it, it's not. It is, it is not. Like I said, it works great for what, it, what I would intend to use it and intend to use it for. And that is date nights and intimate encounters. Or, you know what, this would work great in a work environment. Because it is not loud and it is inoffensive. I can't think of anybody not liking or appreciating the way this smells. This smells really good. You know, this is something you can wear through the office that, you know, when somebody gets close to you, you're going to smell good, but it's not going to offend, you know, the person in the cubicle next to you. It's not going to drown your entire office out with your smell. This would work great for that. Overall, this is a extremely pleasant scent. There's several occasions that this will really shine in. And I've talked about them a couple of times, you know, and I will say them one more time just to make sure I'm getting the point across. Intimate encounters, woohoo, between the sheets, wonderful. Date night, outstanding. Office, outstanding. As long as when you put this on, you understand that you are not going to get mantra projection and you are not going to get a huge amount of longevity out of this. You are on the right track to really enjoying the scent. Because it does smell good. Who's this for? This is for everybody, really. You know, if you're old enough to put this on till you're old enough to step in the grave, there is no age limit. And again, you know, like I've said before, I really don't like putting an age on a fragrance. But this is for anybody. So if you have a chance, this has been around for a very long time, since 1998. Since back when I had hair and my beard wasn't gray. But throughout the years, this is past the test of time. And as long as you use this with the positives in mind and make sure that you understand the fragrance, this is definitely worth having in your collection. And remember, there is no bad time to smell good. And if you have a chance, hit the subscribe button, you know. I like having you come back and see me. Yeah. It gets lonely talking to this camera. And, you know, while you're at it, when you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell. And that helps me help you notify you when I have fresh content that's being delivered. And hit the thumbs up because the thumbs up helps me and helps the channel grow. So with all those things being said, man, I really want to thank you for your time because it is not infinite. We all have only so many days. So I appreciate the fact that you spent some here with me on Outlaw of Frags. And until next time, this is James with Outlaw of Frags, and I look forward to seeing you again.